Alright, what's up YouTube? This is Bait here, back again with my Phoenix Right, Let's Play. And last time we pretty much got done with the uh, cross-examination of uh, Mike Meekings. So, oh, here we are at the District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2 with Lana Sky. Let's see what she has to say. Okay. There's no step. There's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Wright? Nope. Nope. Okay. Yeah, we call uh, Jake Marshall. Yeah, that's really interesting. We have a we have a little uh, trump card. Nobody really knows about. Edward fell right into our trap. Now we can hopefully get some answers from him too. Yes. Uh, I haven't figured out anything. <laughs> You're the one who knows everything. Mm. You always know everything. Why don't you just tell us? Yeah, now she's just saying that she killed the guy, which, you know, most likely is not the case. But, you know, yeah, I'm trying my hardest to protect you. Yes, his protection. How can you be so cold? Uh, don't you trust us? Don't you trust me? Oh, <laughs> hope I'm not interrupting anything. Yeah, I don't know. It was just a little touching moment. Nothing special. It's cool, pal. Do you have something? Oh, I'll come back later. No, wait. <laughs> yes. What is it? Duh. Hmm, yes. Sorry. Hmm. I don't know what about you call me here. Uh, okay. Right. Sorry, detective. You better be, pal. Hey! Uh, uh. What? I didn't see you there, Miss Guy. <laughs> That's okay, so, uh, have you brought what I asked? Oh, ho, ho, ho! You mean this, right? What is that? My apologies, detective. Due to my present circumstances, I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name when uh, making my request. My name? Never in a million years would I have thought it was you who asked me. Could I bother you to bring me SL9 incident files? I need them new by noon. Talk about crazy. That's a nine incident. Lennon, that's. I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I had them brought here. Hmm. Yay, let's do some reading. Yeah. Oh, you were a witness in that case. Okay. And now she's a murderer in this case, or the main suspect, for that matter. Yeah, that's interesting. The we just keep on finding more connections between these two cases. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Nice. There's a bunch of reading. I wonder if there's three or four pages, or even five. Yeah. Okay. Music's gone. What's this? Uh, ignore? Yes, I'm just... Yeah. Oh, but why? Why is your name here? Dun, dun, dun. What is this? Hmm. I don't know, unless... Unless what? Couldn't be. Lana! This SL9 incident is that... Oh my gosh! Secrets from the past. That's the classification number the police f filed it under. Two years ago. Two years ago, here we go again. The rest of the world knew it as the Joe Dark killings. Haha, <laughs> Joe Dark. I actually had in my Wi Fi battles, I named a Dark Cry Joe Dark. I think it was back in Gen 4, a long time ago, so about a year ago. 
And I use that. Anyways, I digress. That's what I do these days. Joe Dark, no, no, Lana. That's over with. No, she passed. Oh, she just ran away. She she didn't faint. You know what? I just remember I gotta be somewhere. Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here. Okay. Bye. Jake Marshall, Angel Star, Darren Kent, Miles Edgeworth. Not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. This can't just be a coincidence. Yeah, I might be just able to figure it out. Hopefully. Time to get back to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. <clears throat> Yeah. To be continued. Well, we shall continue this shenanigans right now. Dee -dee 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 -dee. February 24, Discord, courtroom number 9. Doom. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Emma didn't come back. Who's gonna help me now? I need my 16 year old girls by my side. No! Allow me to call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. Oi, 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 oi! Stop drinking! Please state your name and occupation. Oh dear. Me, partner? Oh, I'm just a man. Same as you, wandering the trails of civilization. Right. Occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. <laughs> You're a patrolman! Ah. That's for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling wind calling it out. Right, to be exact, it's Jake Marshall, your honor. Howling wind. I never heard Edward described that way before. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime to place. Is this correct? According to the papers, partner. What do you mean? A desperate soul is as boundless as the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. Paper. I should really do Paper Mario sometime. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's the best we get on with this quickly. Please share with us your testimony of the day of the crime. In English! I'm sorry, Your Honor, but I'm finished. So I don't know how I'm, go I'm going to handle this. Okay, so the day of the crime. My job was to keep a wary eye on that bone or card, okay? They said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. Besides, the room is protected by two security systems anyway. If I remember right, I was at the street side saloon at the time it went down. You were drinking again while working. Drinking and working, that's a good combo. I like that. I should try it out sometime and see how it goes. No! Children, do not drink and drive or work. Yes. Anyways. I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time to hit the trail. Well, that was, like, so not describing. Ooh, I can say per I particularly care for your attitude. I can say I <laughs> care for your bird, but, uh... You don't see me complaining. <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? So there's the camera thing. Oh, and the ID reader. Okay, okay. I reckon even a cowpog. Cowpog? Like you knows about those. Yes, well, what about the fingerprint activated locks inside the evidence room? Fingerprint activated locks. What kind of newly newfangled douchey keys are those? Er, uh, yeah, he's not. 
Yes, he's not good at machines, I see. Everyone's got their weaknesses, don't they, Mr. Prosecutor? Wink, wink. Ho, ho. This one seems like trouble. Okay, Mr. Wright, he's all yours. Sad face. Day of the crime. I guess I should d just uh, start by uh, pressing him like we always do and then possibly get something new out of this. Let's see. How exactly did you keep an eye on the evidence room? I uh, just made sure nothing moved in the security camera monitor. That room's so still. Even time dies in there. It's like the hyperbolic time chamber. I was just a caretaker who interred the recordings. You interred them? Videos of nothing are unusual. When the time would come, I'd erase the tape. If nothing unusual is recorded, tapes are to be erased every six hours. Cool. I felt like I was erasing a part of my life. This guy has a flair for the dramatic, but isn't going to do any good. Yeah. So, in actuality, you don't physically enter the evidence room. Yes, and we know that he did. So let's find our opening, opening hole here where we can dig in and present the evidence. They said I was supposed to make runs three times a day, but that ain't my style. Harold it. But you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? And you had a word I said partner? Uh, um, I'm afraid I don't understand. No Desperado knows. I know, let, uh, let's rules get in the way, okay? Yeah. That. So, Officer Marshall, on the day of the crime. Just between you and me, I didn't set foot in the evidence room that day. There was a rubber glove uh, stuck in the victim's locker. Do you know anything about that? Sorry, partner. And so I do. Ah, so you are saying that you weren't there that day. Mm, is this the last sentence? Nope. I wonder. But that ain't my style. I wonder if we could just uh, present the uh, bloody prints right now. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I'm just gonna go and uh, press him first, cause you know. Although he did say after we pressed him that I didn't set foot on the uh, evidence room that day, which is bullshit, but uh, you know, let's just play it safe, because you know, sometimes the game might be a dick, you know, this is kind of a, still kind of a long shot, you know, sometimes the game wants you to present some stuff in specific order, even though you would know exactly what's going on, but you know, that's how the game wants to roll, as we have seen in the past. So, you used to be a detective, so uh, you've used the evidence room in the past, correct? Of course! Back in the day, okay, gold mine of evidence, boom! And yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism. Sorry, partner, I ain't good with ma machines, okay. Right, that's quite incredible. Blah, 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 okay. It's well known that detectives are unaware of their presence. Presence. Yeah, Gamshu. Well, at any rate, it doesn't seem uh, this is relevant to the crime. Can you tell us what you were doing in the when the crime took place? Right. What were you doing in a place like that? Spaghetti. Okay. Sweet. Who uh, do you mean to tell us? You abandoned your police duties to eat some noodles? All oh, desperados eat tacos, partner. That's not what I meant. I hope this is the least. This, at last, least, are you a lesson. 
Whoa, why do I fail so much today? Anyways, that's strange. Uh, this is usually where Edgeworth says, Did you not want to race this year? <laughs> that's true. Mm hmm. Okay. Final sentence. Out of ammo, Officer Marshall. That's right, partner, or as you'd call it, evidence. If you don't play a pin this on me, uh this crown you better draw. Otherwise you're just wasting my time. Okay. Blah blah blah. Hmm, one thing seems clear. That despite being responsible for guarding the evidence room, the witness doesn't appear to have seen anything. Hmm. Okay. Apparently it's superior your superiors do. Okay, I have a trump card up uh, my sleeve so I best keep my cool. Before I use it though I'd better up the ante. Mm. But that ain't my style. And when we pressed him here he said that he didn't set his foot on the place. So I think we could present it here. Let's see. Music change. Nope. It game that doesn't want to make the game just doesn't... I hate you, game. Nope. Uh, this has nothing to do with it, even though... Hey, your honor! Here I have a prince of Jake Marshall being in the room. And he said he wasn't there. Nope. That has nothing to do with the case. Here's a penalty. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, what else do I have? Oh wait. Oh wait, I do have this. But it doesn't say that he was in. Although he d he was. That's interesting. Could the mystery 777 guy be Jake Marshall then? So we have Miles Edgeworth, Mike Meekings, Bruce Goodman, and then Meekings again. Okay. Well, what else do I have? I think the evidence we are looking for is somewhere here. Screwdriver, item report, blah blah blah. Evidence room plans, floor plans. SL9 incident glove. Mm hmm. Unstable jar. Blah blah blah. Marshall's prince. Which is what I thought was correct, but apparently not. And then the security. Oh, wait! SL9 incident files. I just completely forget these. What does it say? Mm, okay. It's close. Criminal Joe Dark. Crime. Serial murder. Sentence. Death. Okay, victims Edwin Jones, Heated Gerpy, Jeff Bates, Jason Knight, uh, Ra Rachel Moss, and Neil Marshall. Ha uh ha! -huh. If I would have to guess, I would say either father or a brother. Hmm. Head prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, witnesses Lana Sky, Emma Sky. Hmm. And the final page. The show there were four pages. I was thinking about from three to five, so it was four. Sweet. Investigation task for executive uh, investigators Damon Gant and Lena Sky. How did they let her be, you know, executive investigator in the case where she was also a witness? Usually, don't you don't want to mix those up. That's what I learned from CSI. And head investigator Bruce Goodman, investigators Jake Marshall and Angel Star. Okay, well that doesn't really help us with the case at hand right now, being Jake Marshall. Let me see. By two security systems anyway. Uh, blah blah blah. I have already pressed him everything. Yes, I have a trump card. You know, just better keep my cool. 
Well, I'd better just up the ante. Okay. Okay, okay. I think this is a pretty good uh, place to call it for the day. And, uh, guys, do not spoil anything, so next time when we come back, uh, we are going to find the contradiction in Jake Marshall's testimony and present him something. So, uh, that will be next time. So, until then, this is the Flaming Spade, signing out. Peace.